Thanks, Stephanie. That brings us to our big story. It might take your breath away, but the bitter cold isn't keeping people indoors today. But this big cold snap could spell big trouble for your four-legged family member if you're not ready for it. NBC 26's Billy Wagnus joins us live with what veterinarians are warning about as these temperatures plummet. Yeah, Holly, emergency room veterinarians we spoke with today say this winter's warmer weather until now has come with an unseasonable rise in pet injuries like car accidents. But now they're expecting to treat more cold weather cases like frostbite. Summer or winter, there's no excuse. Just something to do when the sun's out, and why not? People and their pets need their weekly exercise. If it's too cold for me, it's usually too cold for her, so if I'm comfortable sitting outside, I'll bring her out with me. Places like the Brown County Park and Pet Exercise Area offer these pups a safe zone for playing, away from roads, and view obstructing snow banks that have come with the year's snowfall. We've been seeing more motor vehicle accidents, so pets that have been hit by cars more than we have in other winters. At the Fox Valley Animal Referral Center, Dr. Lisa Peters says now the winter is bringing with it a new danger for pets. Dogs that get frostbite on their paws, so we have to be very careful when these temperatures drop like this to get our pets inside or make sure that they have appropriate shelter. And what each pet can handle depends. While quote unquote outdoor dogs may be more cold hardy, indoor dogs of all sizes. If their paws haven't had time to thicken up over time. Can and fall victim to the cold fast. That means always monitor your pet closely when outside, even for a few moments. Let them out, make sure we don't lose track of time, get caught up in cooking or doing stuff around the house with the kids, and get them back in as soon as possible. Tools like booties and jackets can also make a big difference. But we have to be very careful that they fit appropriately so they don't get tangled up. That can create another problem as well. Hot tips for these cold temps. Now, another way your car is potentially lethal to your pet in the winter, antifreeze leaks. Dr. Peter says antifreeze and coolant poisoning cases are more common with pets in cold weather months, which is why you should check your car for any leaks regularly. Billy Wagnus, NBC26. Thanks, Billy. Here are a few extra tips that can keep your pet warm, safe, and healthy this winter. First, make sure your pet always has enough food and water, especially in cold snaps. Look for warning signs like whimpering, holding a paw in the air, or paws bleeding. Keep sensitive areas like the nose and ear tips frostbite free, and cut down on baths, which can actually dry out your pet's skin.